Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5, and today we have a brand new car, or it would have been a brand new car, but for the past two days, I've been busy filming with a Lamborghini. I can't really go into details about it just yet, but by the end of the year, I'm gonna have a really cool video. Anyways though, today in Forza Horizon 5, we have a bunch of really cool things to check out. For example, the Forza-thon shop, a Hennessy Venom, and a Corvette ZR1, okay. In the festival playlist though, you can actually get some really good cars. The Subaru 22B and the ID Zero Uno, a fantastic vehicle. We are heading back into the car pass and into this, the Renault 8 Gordini. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't actually know how to pronounce it. In French, it's like Gordini, but I don't know. I know 90% of you are gonna look at this car and say, wow. That's a tiny little shit box built in France in the 1960s that only has 100 horsepower. Why is it any good? Spoiler alert, this thing apparently can build some absurd horsepower with the right upgrades is unbelievably quick. Most famously, this is a rear engine vehicle. For some reason they decided no. We don't need a trunk, so they filled that up with the engine. It's rear wheel drive. This is a Porsche 911. Before we get into any Forza Horizon 5 customization, let's go take this thing. Ooh, you know what? So for those of you who don't know, this is a bit of a rally car. Maybe let's take this thing over to a little bit of an on-road and off-road race. Yes. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR12 video without any fun facts. For example, did you know back in the day, this thing was an actual rocket ship? So Renault was kind of working on this vehicle behind the scenes for a little while, and when they eventually brought it to their first rally race in the 1960s, this thing was good. Oh. Um. Compl- Oh! When I say this thing was good, I mean it was really, really good. In its first ever race, this is how well it did. It came first, third, fourth, and fifth, it was literally unbelievable. In terms of Forza Horizon 5, here's what I really like about this thing. So for those of you who don't know, I really like these tiny, small little vehicles. And this is basically the definition of that. It weighs absolutely nothing. We're gonna be able to swap some really good engines into this, or at least some good horsepower. Driving D-Class races is not the most entertaining thing, so um... Yeah, I'm just gonna go and do some upgrades and save us all from that pain. We've got to start this off with our engine swaps and that's gonna kind of tell us what we should do with this vehicle. So, so this is the stock engine with 100 horsepower, little three cylinder. We can swap in a 3.2 straight six, a 6.2 liter V8. I wasn't expecting that or a turbo rally engine, okay. I think you can see what I mean now when I say this thing has some potential to be absolutely insane. Hand. I completely forgot to mention at the start of this though, but right now it is Black Friday. The AR12 World Tour merch is officially on sale. So if you do wanna check out any of the World Tour merch, there's a link in the description down below. Get it while it's on sale. Do not miss out. Go check it out. It's really, really awesome and a great way to support the channel. All of Twitch chat really wants me to toss in the V8 into this tiny little vehicle. I would imagine in real life, the 6.2 liter V8 um, wouldn't fit. If we are going to go rally driving, let's make it all wheel drive. I love that. Then let's turbo this thing. Twin tur- uh, Twin- uh, No, no, no. We'll- We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We could toss on some rally lights or remove our front bumper. If we're going rally driving, I think we need as many rally lights as we can get, yes. Okay, we can also get a little bit of a rear wing. You know what? I'm gonna pass on that. It probably would make us better, but I don't like the way it looks. And this is where we're gonna use up a lot of our PI because I wanna swap on off-road tires. Yes, they are not very thick at all. We're gonna need to come in here, up. There are 135. We can get 155, 175, and 185 on this tiny little thing. Let's definitely get some upgraded brakes for this thing. Let's get some rally suspension. Wait, we can do weight reduction to this? So it already weighs 2,100 pounds. Before we swapped in the V8 or the all-wheel drive, 
it was 1,008. We can save 132 though. Other than that, I'm feeling really, really confident with this. Let's upgrade it all the way to the max for horsepower. Actually, let's check the sound. I don't know if it's only me, but why does the stock exhaust sound way better and way more aggressive than the race exhaust. After all of our upgrades, we do weigh a little bit more, but we've got that massive engine and the all wheel drive. So we're gonna have a hell of a lot of grip. We have so much horsepower now, considering at the end of the day, this is a very, very light vehicle. It's definitely a bit strange, but hopefully it works. I think you can finally see the size of this vehicle. Look how much bigger the Corvette is than my putty Renault. That shouldn't make that noise. Oh my God. Oh, mon dieu. Let's see what the pink Renault can do. We're racing a bunch of really interesting vehicles. We. I don't even want to talk. I love the engine noise of this thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. As soon as we get into the dirt, this thing's going to destroy the AI. Look at us go. Look at us go. This is insane. Look at the switchback. Lovely little switchback. I got grip for days. What are we doing? I can already tell you I'm not even 30% into this race. I can already say that this thing drives incredibly well. The suspension is perfect. The tires are amazing. It's so predictable, so chuckable into every corner. And it just, it just goes and it works and it's amazing. I don't think anybody's gonna be that surprised that a Renault from the 60s that's super lightweight and was built for rally racing, as it turns out, when you get some upgrades on it, is an absolutely insane rally car. But we've just scratched the surface of what this vehicle can do. Like, I only have 400 horsepower. You know what? I'm, I'm giving them the bad manners. Bad manners. Bad manners. Let's go. Let's go, little Renault. <laughs> you know the worst part about this is I know so many people are not going to drive it because they don't want to drive a boring French car from the 60s. That is incredible. That is one of my favorite vehicles I have ever made. All of Twitch chat was really impressed with how well that did, as am I. And Twitch chat is asking for a drag race with this. I mean, it's really lightweight. We're gonna be able to toss a bunch of horsepower in. Let's get some drag racy tires. Let's go. Let's even go as try hard as adding on some lightweight rims onto our vehicle. After all of our upgrades for our drag racing Renault 8, we have a thousand horsepower in the tiny little vehicle that only weighs 2,000 pounds. I don't really expect this to be super OP for drag racing, but we'll see if it can do a decent time. I'd be happy with a sub 15 second, 0.6 of a mile, we'll see. Come on, little Renault. A sub 15 second would be very... Um, it did a wheelie. Guys, it, it actually, uh-oh. Oh, um. Yo, oh, no way! Even with the worst gear ratios in the world, 15.0. Let's go. Attempt number two for the tiny Reno. And away we go. Don't get distracted by the guy doing a wheelie next to me. My front wheels are nearly lifting off the ground. I guess because the V8 so big and heavy, it naturally wants to push down like that. That's kind of insane. And there we go. A sub 15 second, 0.6 of a mile. I mean, there's definitely room for improvement there, but that is so, so good. Based off what I saw right there, this thing's gonna be a pretty good wheelie car. Interesting. It doesn't actually stay up for as long as I thought it would. I'm still all wheel drive. No wonder it can't hold it up in the air. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, let me go rear wheel drive one second. I was like, why is it so heavy? How could I forget about one of the most important things for wheelies? 
There it is. There it is, little Reno. We got him. The wheelies definitely aren't as OP as they were on my GMC Jimmy. Sorry. Third gear? No way. It does a wheelie in third gear off the line. Oh. Sorry again, people of Mexico. All right, all right. Wheelies. That's awesome. That's so sick. We've done the racing. We've done the drag racing. We've done the wheelies. And now it's time for Jean-Pierre to return to the Petit Renault. And we can try to drift the Renault 8. Wait. Wait. I think Jean-Pierre is going to go slightly American today. Keep the V8 in this thing. I mean, when you're given the option of swapping in a V8 engine to a vehicle that's this small... I think you need to do it. If we are going to go drifting, let's do it more legit. Toss a supercharger in. We're definitely not going to need any rally lights for this. So let's ditch those. We don't have any rear arrow. We are looking good. We're definitely going to need some drift tires on here. And like I said before, we're going to come back to our suspension and drift suspension. The little Renault. Look at that camber. Upgrade our supercharger. 1,000 horsepower rear-wheel drive drift car. Whoever made this, I love you. I know we did this last time, but I had so much fun with it. We're going back here. I got 999,000 points the last time I tried to do this. Jean-Pierre is going to be able to get 1 million drift score. Come on, buddy. We've got to absolutely nail it. I love how there's snow on the ground for this thing holy it's fast what it's a little rocket ship you get on the gas and it just it goes jean pierre is impressed with the petit renault there's two hundred thousand already still three miles to go come on little renault come on keep it sideways wow look at it go it just oh wow wow what a smooth little drift car Usually, the small little drift cars are so unpredictable. This thing definitely is unpredictable, but it's smooth. It's nice. We've got 1.5 miles left to go. 600,000. This is going to be so close. This is going to be ridiculously close for the little Renault. 700,000. Keep going. It's a difficult car to drive for sure. 800,000. Keep it going. This is going to be ridiculous. 900,000. We're so close. We are so close, little Reno. You're gonna be my best drift car we've ever made if you can do it. 20,000, 10,000. We got it. One million points for our first attempt with the Petit Reno. Jean-Pierre loves it. <laughs> Let's go. I think you can see what I mean when I say I love vehicles like this that are different, that make you move out of your comfort zone. But if you do, you get rewarded with a brilliant, brilliant vehicle. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's so much fun to drive. And you definitely need to try it out because it's just, it's just a good car at the end of the day, regardless of what you do with it.